so my name is Fiak Moriarty and uh, I'm a songwriter and a singer, which makes me a singer-songwriter, I suppose. I've been playing music for as long as I can remember, in one way or another. And uh, I have my second album just come out. My first album was called So I, released a couple of years ago, and this is called The Revolution, and it's about all things revolution. I was always kind of writing little songs and bits and bobs from what I remember and um, I guess if I was to pick one inspiration um, I remember being in the Gale Tucked in, uh, in Connemara and I heard Nirvana properly for the first time and it blew me away and I said what the hell is this and um, it kind of I just wanted to start writing songs after that I mean I grew up listening to the Beatles and I loved the Beatles as a kid um, so I guess without knowing it I was kind of listening to and studying songwriting without realising it because I used to be kind of changing things around and then um, like I'd take a verse and sing the chorus to it and that type of stuff but uh, yeah Nirvana was the kind of catalyst I guess and then um, so I, I can blame Nirvana for being in this current situation a huge amount of influences, like there was a lot of classical music uh, when I was a kid. My mother plays piano, so she was always playing classical pieces. So that was always there, you know, and then uh, like a lot of kind of tr Irish folk records like Maura O'Connell and uh, Dolores Keane and um, Christy Moore, the Dubliners. Uh, all that stuff was always in the house being played. Uh, and one record I always remember being played as well was uh, Rock and Roll Music by John Lennon. That was always being played. So. Uh, yeah, these things were kind of subconsciously influencing me. Two international acts. Uh, I love Rufus Wainwright. And there's another guy called David Mead, who you should all check out. M-E-A-D. Amazing songwriter. Revolution will be televised in a modern book. Well, I mean, I've, I started writing that when the whole Arab Spring thing was happening. and. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't really know much about the Arab Spring other than I was fascinated that uh, social media was being used as a tool for the first time. And I kind of thought that my generation didn't get out on the streets. I mean, people were unhappy with how things were, but they were accepting things as well, you know. Um, so it was a little bit of a pop up my own generation uh, while kind of commenting on what was going on around the world. Now, since, since I've written and recorded that song, uh, the water charge and the property tax has come in and people actually have started to go out on the streets. So uh, my whole song and movement are completely null and void. <laughs> but uh, no, it was just, it was just, a, it's social commentary really, you know, it's me just realising, or making comment on, on my own generation and, and uh, what I see in the news and what, on, what I see online and how news has completely changed and I mean I don't, I don't trust a lot of of uh, like me, like mainstream Fox News media I mean it's just a, it's, an, it's agenda TV and people have the tools to put their own points across as well everyone has an agenda of course I mean everybody gets angry from time to time everybody's happy and um, I, when I wrote that song I guess uh Maybe I was a tiny bit angry, but um, it's more a commentary and, and um, ob observation, I guess. I always wanted to write an album. I, I initially wanted to write an album about 1916, because I mean, I'm a huge student of Irish history. And um, I kind of wrote a couple of songs about it, and then I started... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in history anyway, and I discovered this story about... Uh, uh, a group of Irishmen called St. Patrick's Brigade who were fought in the Mexican army and I wrote a song about that and so I kind of, the revolution thing kind of widened from 1916 to uh, to kind of Irish history and then there was a couple of songs in there that are kind of own personal revolutions things that happened in my life that did 360s and um, so it just made sense that every every song on the album is something to do with revolution. So uh, it just made sense to call it the revolution, you know. 
I recorded it in Bay Studio in Wicklow uh, with Simon Quigley and Peter Megan, two wonderful producers, and uh, a wonderful studio as well in Wicklow Town, right near the sea. Um, beautiful view. So it was quite a relaxing, um, really nice place to record. And uh, we really did a lot of work on pre production, breaking all the songs down, and um, every snare and kick you hear on that album has been worked out and timed to precision so the big gig coming up is the button factory on friday the 24th of april and that's the launch the album launch and uh i have a great support act called daniel de borca who's gonna blow your minds an up-and-coming uh really good songwriter and uh, i'll have a full band so it's gonna be a special evening look forward to seeing everybody there i'm playing the Doolin festival on the 13th of june uh, i have a few gigs in cork um, I'm playing in the Barras on the 29th of April. I'm playing in Co Collins or Cocklands in Cork on the 30th of April and the Mariner and Bantry on the 1st of May. And there's a load more gigs. Check it out on fiacmusic.com. What you've been so What is to be?